All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Remember what an asymptote is, is, it's, is as our graph is approaching a certain number, it's going to keep on approaching that line, but it's never actually going to go ahead and get to that point. So on a graph, it's going to keep on, as our values keep on getting larger, it's going to keep on um, getting closer to the line, but it's as, what we also like to call it, just go ahead and approach as affinity. So when I want, what I want to do here is if I want to find the vertical asymptote, um, for both these equations, what I need to do is I need to set my, um, I need to set both my denominators to zero. So I just say zero is equal to x minus two cubed. Okay, and then here I get zero equals x squared plus one. So um, when I go ahead and do this, I go and factor this. I get x equals two. Okay, I take a cube root on both sides. You guys need to show that. Are we okay with that? Take a cube root. I'll just show it. Cube root on both sides to get rid of the cubed. Okay. Therefore, then you have zero is equal to x minus two. Add a two on both sides. X is equal to two. Okay. Over here, I noticed that um, there is no number that is that's going to be an imaginary number, right? That's going to be i square root of we're on equals x, right? We worked on taking the i, because that's going to be negative. You take the over, it's going to be square root of negative 1. So therefore, there is no um, x real, there's no x-intercepts or um, x vertical asymptotes for here. Then, for the horizontal, so that's your vertical. And for here, vertical, we have none. And now to go ahead and find the horizontal asymptote. Remember the horizontal asymptote, what we need to do is we need to look at your exponents of your, co of your uh, leading coefficient. And if we have our leading, if our degrees up here is what we look at, and here you can pretty much write we have x to the 0, right? Because there's nothing written there, so it's x to 0. So if you guys remember what we wrote down last class period is when you go ahead and compare, this eventually, if I back, if I foil this all out, I'm going to get x cubed, right? So essentially what I have is my two dollars x over x cubed. And if you guys remember that whenever your denom the, the degree in the numerator was less than a degree in the denominator, therefore you had a horizontal asymptote of zero. So therefore, um, your vertical equals this, horizontal equals y equals zero. All right? And then for number 12, now we notice that we have x squared is equal to x squared, right? So we have, when I'm looking at my lead coefficients, now these are equal to each other. So when they're equal to each other, we have um, a and b is what we call their coefficients of them. And what to do is when you have, when you have 2 is equal to 2, you, um, when you have their degrees are equal to each other, then the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of A over B. So the horizontal for this problem is going to be 3 over 1, because the coefficient for this problem is 1. So it would be 3 over 1. So that's how you find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of given functions. What was the domain system?